guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be recreating an it inspired look i did um a while back on my instagram i do post a lot of more makeup looks on my instagram so if you aren't already following me i will leave my at right here but this is going to be another voiceover so i'm just going to get into the look going in with golden ochre and blending that in to my lids something very simple we're going for that no eyeshadow look while still wearing eyeshadow next I am using my color pop lipstick in Avenue and using that as eyeliner it's really difficult for me to do eyeliner on camera you guys are gonna see me struggle here and just trying to switch up angles to make sure I am even coming out and not just like off frame the whole time now I am going in with the NYX Vivid Brights liquid eyeliner in Vivid Fire just to give it in a different tone of red and I'm just outlining the eyeliner that I applied before off camera I went ahead and applied eyelashes and right here I am just applying foundation it's gonna be pretty much my regular foundation routine so I skipped it but I am going for a more paler foundation to look a little bit more pasty I didn't want to do the complete white base but I didn't want to do my regular foundation either so I just went for a more pasty color guys would like a video on just my foundation routine let me know comment down below and now this is where we are gonna go in with blush like go a lot we want that pink blush just popping right in the cheekbone cut my contour with my powder foundation in case you guys can't tell so right here I am just brushing it all off but not too much because I kind of want that dramatic look I will be using this Fantasy Makeup Wet n Wild palette. I actually found it at the 99 Sun Source, but in previous years I have found this line in CVS. And right here I was just going in with my NYX white liner and making the little triangles for the clown. And it got on my eyelashes and I was like, you know what, it looks good, might as well put more. <laughs> And I'm just outlining it with the liquid liner and then I am going to go in with the Wet n Wild Fantasy palette and just shade it in. Now going in right here, I am contouring my nose. I'm sorry if you guys can't see. I'm still working hard on trying to figure out the perfect angles. That's why I had to pop up my freaking other dusty ass palette because I just couldn't do it with a bigger mirror. And I will also be going in with that same blush that I applied on my cheeks and putting it on the tip of my nose. And then right here, I am starting to outline the little balloons that I will be drawing on my face. Um, I'm sorry that I did not get a good freaking image of this it's just since it was more into detail I needed the smaller mirror and I didn't even realize that it was completely covering what I was doing but when I do the other side it is gonna come out and right here I will just be going in and drawing the little strings from the balloon again it doesn't come out this next frame that comes up will be a lot better. Not perfect, but a lot better.
right here I am just going in with a white liquid liner and adding little details to the balloon to make them look shiny. Again, completely off frame, but I am just lining my lips here. I went in with Avenue from ColourPop, and I did bring it out a little bit, kind of Joker status, but if you know me, you know I usually always do that with my lipsticks. And then I am going in with a cream shadow in white as my highlight. Applied bottom lashes off camera. If you guys want a separate video on how to do that, let me know. And then I just went in with a red pencil eyeliner and applied that in my waterline. That completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, don't forget to do so. I post a lot of more looks there.